Hello everyone, I am back, and today I have a new video for you guys, and today I am going to be showing you from Team Lucidic, a small indie game made by them. It is in extremely early beta, I think it's like 1.0.3 or something like that, and they made a game engine, and it's called Forced Sword, and I'll just read this website to you. You can see the link in, up here, and I'll also have it in the description below. So, Team Lucidic is a small indie game developer group with members across North America. Currently, we are building the Forest Sword engine to be used in our game called Acor, not a e q o r or however you want to say it. So, the Forest Sword engine, it's an open source, so easily moddable, 3D RPG voxel engine written in Java by Team Lucidic. And you can try out the beta version here, which I have already downloaded and will provide a link for in the description below. So, Acor, this game created by Team Lucidic with Forest Sword, is an open world RPG that takes place in Acor, a mysterious island that is home to a small civilization of people that haven't had contact with the rest of the world for hundreds of years. You must learn to survive in this strange land while trying to figure out the way back home. If you'd like to get involved with the community, you can do so by visiting the forums here where you can post bug reports and all sorts of stuff. So, getting rid of my commercial voice here for Team Lucidic, I will hop right into the game. Uh, so, and... Let's open up this thing. So, Forest Sword Launcher let's get started now it does take a while to boot and when it boots you will probably think this is a minecraft clone but whenever you're dealing with voxel based things and javascript and java or all that stuff things are um... they tend to look similar uh... can i uh... Uh, nah. I'm gonna change the. I don't think I can change the resolution of my thing. I'm just gonna keep this in the background. You can see it, right? I don't want you to show my desktop because you don't want to see my files. Eh. So let's just jump right in. So start forest sword. Yep. Duh. Now what? Third build and add some new stuff. Get update. Maybe that's what I do. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever loaded this game. So it's taking. Oh, never mind. Using my DSL internet here. Crazy speeds, right? <laughs> no update. Hey, there we go. Beta 1.0.3. Ready to go. Yes, I can go full screen. Hopefully this thing is still recording. I don't know when 10 minutes is up. I am going to generate a new world and I will call it demo speed um size. Um my computer's pretty bad. I'm going to make it be 6. And seed. Oh, first I thought that said speed. Uh let's do that. That's always fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So let's see here. I'm just gonna check my recording software. And okay, so I have about five minutes left. Sorry. So, see games loaded. I am going to, uh, no, oh, oh, here I am, my computer is, okay, good, it's on high performance, is there, resume, regenerate, map, blah, settings, vsync, accurate, fast, accurate, wind test, cool looking, z order trunks, fog, off, alpha short, and I'll turn it to fast because my computer's bad at game. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. 
Um, can't really mind anything. I have my fists. Can punch stuff. So now, if I go into my inventory, I can hover. So I can do that by equipping one. Let's see, that's items, a health potion, a strange artifact. We'll, we'll be able to see what that does. Energy telescope. Let's see what that does. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, continuing on. Don't really need that here anymore. Got a torch. Weapons. A sword for left and right hand. So now I can hit stuff with some sticks if I feel so inclined. I don't think. Well, I'll keep one of them. Apparel. Nothing yet. Abilities. These are fun. So I can do fire. Oh. Fire. Oh. And bubbles. I think I'm gonna. Oh. Yeah, it's a very early beta, as you can tell, but it is pretty cool. I mean, yeah, all of you are probably gonna say, oh, it's just another Minecraft clone or something like that. Editor. The editor. And here's all the blocks I can choose from. Yeah. Ooh, glass. Uh, yeah, I'll just place some stone and a mer. There we go. So I'm all ready to go. And oh, I just equipped the thing. If I hit one. Oh, that's how that works. So shift. Now I can shoot fire, and that's like I guess you could think of that as your mana. You fans out there of these magic enchantment games, I don't know. I don't know things like this. I I, I do know a little bit of magic. You know, like the card game. Hopefully, you know. And yeah, it's pretty fun. I, but I can shoot fire, and if I hit one bubbles and fire like that all that fun stuff shooting stuff out of your hands and it does go twice and the mana bar does go down twice as fast whenever I do that now I think I can fall ooh wind effects swishy blocks oh. I always think of breaking them because I play minecraft and it does look a lot like it I have to admit it Ow, I just took some damage. And I think my health does regenerate, like you can see here. Yeah. But I can... Is there spawn stuff? Abilities? Uh, yeah, I can spawn an agitated apple. And an... Yeah, an ally apple. And I'm going to equip my sword again. There you go, sword. And what did I equip the other things to? Two and three. So two, I get an aggravated apple. I'm gonna put bubbles in your face. And maybe hit you with my sword. Eh. Eh. Oh, that's neat. It shows up on your uh, compass at the top what direction an enemy is. Eh. There we go. There are bubbles. There you go. That apple's dead. Um, now I'm gonna do I'm gonna duke it out with uh oh they're fighting oh I I spawned them at the same time so they're like ah oh, the ag agitated apple one stupid so two three who's gonna win oh go go. Who's gonna win? Oh, I don't want to see. I want to see who will win. Ah, oh, dang you! I'm gonna shoot you with fire. But as you can see, this does have quite a bit of potential, and it's turning nighttime right at about the nine and a half minute mark. Which means, if all of you have been on my channel before, we are ready for a cut which will probably be extremely obvious especially because I just said it so be right back alrighty then there we go back after that obvious cut uh... oh yeah Z is my world editor nice block I can 
mine up these blocks. I like the wind effects. That's something nice. Like you can see it with the flowers and trees, and I think you can see it in the grass too. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And they're working on this game to be a lot more high res and like less Minecrafty, if you could say it that way. And where the heck am I? Um, I found a bug. Oh, yeah. Now I can show you because it's nighttime. Wait, I wonder. Does the fire make light? No, that'd be pretty cool. Uh oh, I can spawn human. Yeah, the human looks really derp. It's like <laughs> it doesn't have too much animation. It's just been added in. <laughs> it just explodes. Oh, what else is there? Full. Oh yeah, this is like a grenade. There it goes. Is this using up my mana? I'm gonna just call it mana because I don't know what else. To oh, hey, it even lags out my computer like TNT in Minecraft. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, good gosh. I wonder if there's bedrock too. Yeah, it seems like there is. A sort of a thing like bedrock. Well, that's about it. I'm gonna get out of here. Huh? Dang it! This took a bunch of damage. What happened to my the but the fly thing? Yeah, I'm just sort of recording this on the fly. What? There was something there. I don't know. I'm gonna equip a torch because I want to see. Oh. Huh. Use my right mouse button to activate it. It is cool. I still wish I wish they had this in Minecraft. Like cuz torches are supposed to be able to be held, but for some reason in Minecraft they are not. So yeah. Uh, where's the fly? Editor items. I think it was here. I think I lost it. I bro I bro I broke the game. Everyone broke the game. <sighs> I'm gonna get out of here. I'm just gonna good old fashioned staircase. Yeah, this game looks like it has a lot of potential considering this is really, 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 really early in development. And if it gets worked on a lot, I have a feeling this could become a very popular game because I mean, I don't think I've seen any, like, I have definitely seen quite a few Minecraft clones out there. But I don't think I've seen any that are, like, a uh, role-playing game. At least I don't know. I don't really look for these kind of things. I just sort of find them. Okay, how deep is this world? I think I'll end off this episode, if you can call it that. It's more of a highlight. Highlighting the forest engine. I'm not sure what to call this episode game in potential I don't know so just gonna dig my way out it okay had a minecraft moment there I thought this would sand and I thought it was gonna fall on my face well what was that oh that's how that works whenever a thing oh uh, I thought that was water oh, I don't think I think there is water in this game did I get any I don't know I'll have to see it's night time my computer's freaking out. It's almost time to go to bed. <laughs> is this water? Yeah, it is water. And I can break the water. Because that makes sense. As does swimming in water like this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty buggy. And it doesn't flow either. Oh, oh well. Well, I think here is a good place to end it off, because really, if I if I would glitch out this game anymore, my computer would melt. I don't think anyone would like that if that happened, especially not me. So I think I'm just going to hop my way out of here, and 
end off this episode. So, yeah, that's it for this game, this proto game. Oh, I'm starting to lose health. I'm drowning. Oh no, dig, diggy, diggy. There we go. So yeah, that's it. If I haven't already said that already. You have been watching me, Laserlord10, playing, highlighting, and otherwisezing this game. She seems pretty good. Seems like it has a lot of potential. So, I will see you next time.